Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Ozzy and I welcome you to the studio. Very happy you are here with us today. Let's see, Ozzy's birthday is on the 16th, so we're not quite ready to give him a happy birthday yet. This is today's project and um, you know, I spent much longer on it than um, what I normally would for a doodle, but this is more of a build video. So um, the reason for that is I wanted to still do a simple building this week and next week we'll get a little more complicated, maybe do a couple cityscapes. Um, I wanted to stay simple, you know, we took our influence off of this wonderful little piece of art that I found off of um, Pinterest. Of course, I took mine and went quite a ways further. <laughs> I love how it turned out. This is very frameable and uh, it's crooked once again because I did it sideways. So when I cut it, I will cut it right side up. Straight. Uh, just to let you know, guys, this is the Patreon uh, perspective lesson. So this will be Friday's video on Patreon. Uh, this is one point perspective and then next week we will be working with two point perspective. Um, it's, it's challenging and you do have to use a ruler, but it's really not that hard. So I hope you do um, join us over at Patreon. Uh, okay guys, I hope you have a great day and we will chat soon. Love you guys, bye. Okay, artists, let's play. I am uh, working with my Arteza water brush. Um, I have a set of six. They were really nice and awesome. And then I also have my Arteza watercolor set I have to admit, I love the colors. I did, did, <laughs> I did um, reorganize the um, paints to where they made a little more sense to me. All you have to do is move that clip back, change the colors around where you want them. I actually prefer to have my yellows up top, so I'm gonna just flip it real quick. We're going to work off this really cute little image. This image is in the Patreon attachments. Um, you receive those on Sunday. So, um, you know, I saw just a really cool watercolor painting while I was looking around. I'm just going to kind of play with that a little bit. Since this is a neat little night sky, we're going to play with the night sky. We are. We're going to play with the night sky. Oh, I should probably sketch in where I want my little building here. Because we're going to do my splatter thing that I love to do. But we want to make sure that we have our little building in here. And yeah, I picked out a super simple one for us to work with because, you know, I, I want to keep this simple this week and then next week we're going to go a little more complicated.
So this is a semi-build video. I wanted to do something uh, that was simple, but, um, you know, like I said, Patreons, you're getting your um, perspective, one point perspective tomorrow. Next Friday, we'll get two point perspective. So we are kind of doing this a little bit differently. You're getting your build video on Wednesday, and then we'll get you your other information. Now they have a little bit warmer house, which I just realized that they have a little bit warmer color there. I think that'd probably be a good thing. So we'll, we'll come back in and we'll warm this color up. I should try to make sure that I'm not sitting here crooked again. I have a tendency to make little crookedy buildings. Oh, you know what I did not do? I did not leave that yellow. I did not even think about that. See, that's the difference though. When you have, when somebody has a chance to practice their little piece of art before they post it. And then me, I'm just kind of going in there blind, just like, oh, well, I'll just make that one. But you don't recognize or see what other people are doing here when they're making their little pieces of art. Okay, let's grab a little bit stiffer bristle brush here. Let's see if we can pull up some of that pigment in there. Kind of pushing it to the outside. We do not want to scrub on this. It will bring up the paper. All right, I'm gonna make a nice little red roof though. I love that red roof. This is still pretty wet, so let's actually not go into that right yet. Let's bring this kind of down in here. And down into here. Nice warm color. We don't want that brush for that. Let's bring out this one. Bring in one of those darker greens. We're gonna make it all kind of blend together here. Remember, green and red will make brown. But we're okay with that. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. Let's make it kind of a yellowish light going up to the house. Now remember, we don't need to copy this exactly whatsoever. In fact, it's better if we don't. Um, but if we do something that gives us kind of the essence and the feel of this great little painting, it'd be wonderful. but we don't want to copy other people's artwork. And we don't want to just cut out their little, great little drawing and, you know, use that. We want to see if we can do something similar to it. Right? It is. Yes, Stephanie, you are right. So I'm going to take this beautiful that's an alizarin crimson, if I've ever seen it. And since we just did our trees, let's go ahead and put a nice, cool tree in here. Now, this is a very whimsical tree. This tree is not meant to be realistic. It's just kind of a very cute little long stemmed fun little thing here so 
Let's grab a little bit smaller brush now that we have all of our base in. Remember with the Arteza brushes, all you have to do is squeeze and the water just pops right out. All right, we'll just dive into our greens. We're gonna mush that around. I like that teal green, if you can't tell. And we're gonna grab a little bit of that nice, hopefully you guys can see me here, it's a nice warm green to mix with that teal. Remember the teal is the cooler color. And this warm green, that's our highlight color. And as we mix the two, without getting it too too mixed we can make something that has a little extra depth and is very fun very cool happy little tree I did I said it I said I called it a happy tree and since this is kind of that nighttime scene We'll just kind of keep darkening down our horizon line. As you can see, this is the horizon line right there, guys. It's where the sky meets the ground. Hope you're still all in place here. We're gonna fuzz that out a little bit. There we go. Now we do want to fuzz that upward, but we're gonna kind of wait for that to dry just a touch. Well, maybe we can get it. Famous last words, right? Okay, now we have this great little house here. I love this little house. It's very charming. Um, where do I want to go next? I think I want to go to the roof, which has kind of a base layer of this right here, but it has a little bit more of the purple in it. It's a dark brown, it's not a light brown. All right, so the roof is one third of the size. So if I split it in half here, then add a third, it's gonna be pretty big. So maybe I will make it a little bit smaller. All right, let's bring in the lighter color. remember it doesn't have to be perfect that's a great thing about doing something that has a feeling of a doodle even though it's clearly not I mean this is not a doodle this has taken already um, you know 15 minutes 16 minutes so it's clearly not a doodle but it does have a very whimsical and light feeling to it and I think that's what makes it so charming all right, let's go back into that kind of dark color there. And they have a very little door on that. That little door is so small. We're gonna make our door a little bit larger. Hopefully that's not too large. All right, leave your little light color back behind there. Take your fine point. I do love this little thing that's over the top here, but we're gonna wait a second before we add that in also. We are gonna make those windows pretty tall. We want those to be thin lines. It's kind of hard to do with watercolor. 
it would probably be better to do that with the uh, gel pen. So maybe we'll go back over it with the gel pen after. It is always easiest to move your um, piece of paper when you're doing your detail work. My first try at it, guys, so I have not practiced this. And I think you need to remember that when you're watching me do these things. Um, I don't ever claim to be perfect at this, but I want you guys to know that I'm not afraid to try it. You know? And to try it on camera in front of a couple, you know, in front of 1,800 of you at least. Which can be intimidating because I should have left that one a little bit larger. So I'm going to do one of my circle windows right in there. All right. I love their little chimney. Let's get the little chimney guy in there. We're gonna put a little different chimney in. We'll put a little longer chimney in. And we're gonna scrub out some of the pigment right there. Add a little bit of water. I'm squeezing lightly on the brush. Now, if I drop water into that chimney, it's gonna pull the brown since the brown is wet. So be careful with that. Now, this is a very soft bristle. So we're gonna come back with one of our harder bristle brushes. Okay. All right, for a 15 minute uh, <laughs> piece, this is taking longer than expected. Now the Ink Tense is a different product. It is a alcohol based pencil. So that doesn't really wanna work either. I think what I need to do is let that completely dry would be my guess. Oh, hey, that one works. Hold on. I'm going to just kind of touch it in the water a little bit there. Now, I probably could do this with the watercolors themselves also. I just wanted something that had a little bit more control sometimes than um, watercolors themselves. And sometimes watercolors don't have the best control for me. I'm not going to lie. So the ink tense is a permanent ink. So it's water soluble, but then it becomes permanent. I mean, how cool is that? And I think that the Arteza would work fine um, once the everything was dry. But since I have these here, we're going to make it nice and warm. All right. Now we're going to kind of go through and do some work to our little building. I'm going to actually grab. What am I going to do here? Let me see something here real fast. I need some. Seen that done. Wanted to see how it works for me. Okay, so now that that ha building has dried more, it's definitely allowing that watercolor pencil to come in. So you do need to have a fairly dry surface for the watercolor pigment pencil to get down. 
And then let's go in with our brown. Again, that's a very sharp point. So just trying to take that down a little bit. Let's pull in some blue and some yellow, or um, purple. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go with a darker one. There we go. So I'm still learning these products. That's why I haven't done a product review for you yet, is because I'm still trying to get the feel for how they work. And I don't wanna just be you know, blind out there showing you how to you know, make dots. I wanna show you how to use the product. So that's why I haven't really shown them to you yet. Because in all my spare time, I haven't had a chance to get to it. <laughs> well, let me tell you guys, it's been, it's been a wild ride. Feeling pretty good about things, but, uh, you know, never know what's going to happen next, do we? Life is an interesting thing. And you really just have to learn how to go with it. I'm kind of really enjoying this right here. Now this paper is still wet up top, so it's not going in very dark. But it's giving me a really nice light feel. I'm gonna bring in some red. But it has the potential to damage the paper. So watch out for that. And if you're using copy paper or something like that, that's not a watercolor paper, I do not suggest that you do it this way. And so far, so good though. I'm digging our little tree. See how I'm brushing all of that uh, pigment to where I want uh, that edge of that building uh, window frame to be. Oh, squeezed it. Squeezed it too hard. It exploded when I squeezed it too hard. <laughs> it did. It exploded. That one has a curtain over it. Let's see if I can pull that up just a little bit more. Driving me crazy. Drives me crazy. I think it's very cute. Maybe if we take our micro pen. I'm feeling I need to wait for it to dry though. Let me see. Oh, that was one of my old, old, old micro pens. No wonder it doesn't work very well. Ooh, hey, I have a white gel pen too. I haven't really tried this. Do I dare try it? Ooh, that's a super fine point. Let's do this before we do that. Okay, so what I did was I tested it out. And I have to say, I don't love it. Now, the only thing I would love to do is try it as little stars. Will it work? Doesn't really work. Hmm. This is taking way too long. We're at 39 minutes. This is not supposed to take me this long. Okay, I don't know how these microns are gonna work with this colored pencil. Colored, uh, the, the water color pencil is a little waxy. So it's not loving 
the combination. And this is not bone dry as it is supposed to be. I just remembered Kat's advice saying that this should be bone dry before you bring your micron over the top of it. It is not. I didn't realize this was going to take this long. Hi, babe. Why are you just poking me? Does that mean it's time to go and do something fun for you? It is. I know it is. You bored? Just woke up from your nap. Give me one sec. Just one second, buddy. Maybe you can come visit me. Come on. Oh, that's a boy. Hi, love. Hi, love. Hi. Are you just, are you just wake up? He does need a bath. He's a little stinky from the river the other day. They let out water and so the water um, was kind of all muddy and yucky. You would think he could go back in the river and he could get all washed off, but it doesn't work that way. I guess once you get stinky, you get stinky. He's not super stinky. We just, we just need a little bit of help here. Hi, I'm coming up further, okay. Oh. oh my goodness, what big teeth you have, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, need to go change the laundry. Yes, need to go get videos edited and uploaded. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was that? You're shedding too. Need to wash the dog. Brush the boy. He's gonna be one years old. Hey, don't lick the painting. Ozzy. Don't lick the painting. Mm -hmm. Are we all done? I guess that was our love's time. Oh, now it's ball time, which means, oh, he's playing the game with two balls. He loves that. He picks up one, swipes it with his foot, the other one. That's pretty adorable. Okay, we'll get back to the painting here. We're at 45 minutes. What are you doing, buddy? He's under my feet. All right, guys. I think that little guy is done. I think it's really adorable. And uh, it's crooked again. <laughs> this is what I get because I turned my paper but I'll just trim it to where it's not crooked, right? I'll take a parallel line to this guy from here. And then I can cut it out and I can frame it because this is a great little painting. Um, and I can sell it. 
I think this is perfectly sellable. Um, is it perfect? No, no, it's not. And is it pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm hesitant to do this. I know that I just tried it before and didn't love it. Alrighty. Can I sign my name in it? Nope. All right. There it is, guys. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and we will chat soon.